What is going on guys? My name's Jeff and this is Broken Paddock. In today's video, we're gonna be taking the wing off of the back of the Cayman in order for me to have the hatch open when I do throw it on the lift. With the wing being up, it does add quite a few inches and it does hit the garage roof. So I wanna go ahead and pull that off first before we go ahead and try to put this on the lift. So uh, let's get this thing removed. So the cool thing with moving this, it is just held on by a couple of Allens and some nuts on the back and these just thread into the main part. And then I gotta open it up and figure out how it's attached to the back of the car. And that'll pull the wing off in order for us to gain a little bit of clearance. And then, well it's off, I'll also go ahead and take a look at what it's gonna take to uh, refinish it. Cause I know there's some cracks here, which means I may have to play with some fiberglass rework and stuff like that. But here it is with the wings in the lawn. Let's go ahead and see what it looks like when it's off. Now that we got the hatch open, you can tell everything's really dirty. It was vinyl wrapped. I want to pull that all off and get it actually painted to match the car and cleaned up and do all the custom body work and everything to it. Get it all nice. They did tap some holes in the hatch in order to, I don't you know you're not able to see them, but in here there are uh, two bolts. And then in here are the two Allens that once I undo the bolts, should give me access to these. I can back it up a little bit and try to get to those Allen holes. So let's go ahead and knock that out. Alright guys, so I was able to get the wing off and it's pretty dirty underneath. So I want to go ahead and wipe this up before I go do any work. It's already dropping all this dirt, so I want to make sure that it doesn't get any worse. But it does make this a lot lighter. And it buys me a whole lot of space for the garage door, especially when I get this thing on the lift. Alright, so we were able to get this kind of cleaned up. We got all the dirt and everything off of it. Uh, there's a bunch of sand marks, like scuff marks and stuff from where the wing was until we wore some of the paint down. Um, where they drilled the holes. All this is going to have to be cleaned up eventually. I'm not really going to worry about it right now. So, a little bit of rust. But I'll get all that taken care of. And then on the back side, nothing really too bad. So, it'll all be repainted eventually. So I'm not that worried. And the other thing I noticed is when they did the logos that are on the wing, 
it looks like what they ended up doing was putting the piece on the car over the logos that were already here and then cutting them through the car. So that's I'm not really happy about. So eventually I will have to uh, sand all this down and respray it. And I may just do a line and work on just this part eventually. But at least I got it cleaned up as much as I can. This is just the scuff mark. So once this is all sanded down and repainted, it won't be a problem eventually. It's also a little discolored is what I noticed. But now that we got the wing off, lightens up the car quite a bit and gives me all kinds of room. So uh, next steps to get this thing on the lift. I'll end up cleaning this later, but this is the back side of the wing. I noticed there's a giant crack right here from it being tightened in, from it being screwed into. So I'll probably find a way to patch that and kind of rough it up and smooth it out and rebondo it or add some plastic weld to it to help just kind of make it nice and then uh, clean up the rest of this and then pull all the vinyl and stuff off that because it was just wrapped in black vinyl. Uh, got both the end plates here. Don't know if you can kind of see it, but uh, the end plate's cracked right there. So when I get the vinyl off of this, I'll have to sand it down and fix that as well. Good thing is I know how to work with fiber, like carbon fiber and stuff like that. So I make carbon fiber the end plates or just lay some resin down and help kind of smooth everything out with normal fiberglass. And then I've got the two wings also wrapped in vinyl. So they did look like they did a white underneath and then the, the carbon fiber white on top, kind of shitty. So I'll go ahead and pull all this off. I think it's just the black base coat underneath. Get it all sanded down and eventually get it repainted. Trying to still, still decide which colors I want to do what to get it back on the car, but that'll also be in another video. All right guys, so it's been a couple of the days after taking the wing and everything off the car, had some stuff come up, but now we're gonna get back to uh, this thing with uh, getting the lift underneath it so I can get it in the air, push the seats forward and actually start getting some work done on it. Uh, I've got a couple of weeks before an event that I'd really like to go to help support a charity. So that's kind of my big rush to get this done right now. Let's see if we can get it done or not. But uh, let's go ahead and get this thing on the lift. So far I've got the uh, driver's side uh, underneath already. And it's a little cobwebby and stuff. It's just been sitting in the garage since the move. But uh, got the one line all hooked up and got it. Alright, second one all hooked up. Now let's go ahead, hook up the pump. Once the pump's hooked up, we'll uh, get this thing in the air. Alright guys, so I was able to get it up on the lift. I got it up all the way on the top setting, so I don't have to keep raising it and lowering it. And now, I can go ahead and prep everything I need for the next part of the install. Alright guys, so I was able to get the car up on the lift, get on the tallest setting. I love my little quick jacks. Um, they're really good. Never had an issue with them so far. They fit this car perfectly. They fit the Mini really well, which is what I bought them for. And I've used a SAT on an RX-7 and a uh, S13, a couple other cars. Never really had any issues with them. So I love these. These are the uh, 5,000... I'll say the SXLs or something like that. But I got the ones that connect to the battery. So I just have picked up a spare set of jumper cables. Have them hooked up to the box. Have them, um, you know, just sitting there now because they're not hooked up to anything. And use, use it on the battery. They're great for, you know, if I wanted to do a track day or something like that. I can just throw it in the back of the truck, throw the car on the trailer, and not have to worry about it. Alright, guys, now that I've got the car up on the lift. I can go ahead and start prepping everything for removing all the belts and the pulleys and the water pump and the thermostat housing, the thermostat and the coolant bottle, which I think is actually what the problem is. So really I'm just doing all this extra stuff as maintenance since I'm going to be in there anyways. So I'll see you guys in the next video.